But anyways, because I do want to show you guys a very realistic journey and that means even as I overcome my own insecurities. Levels on levels on levels I am, but yeah, you all thinking y'all better. I ain't fucking with these haters right now, they just hang them under like a shackle. Trying to drag me down into the dirt like a dog. Good morning anyway, guys. It is like 20 to 6. I am shattered, but we're going to hit a gym session in about 10 minutes. Okay? After that, my going to go walk, innit? it? Mmm, that is zoomed in. Good morning, YouTube. Good morning, YouTube family. It's about 20 to 6 right now. We woke up at 5. Well, to be exact, I woke up at 4.59 a.m. You? 5.04. <laughs> Slightly past 5. But, um, yeah, it's been it's actually getting kind of hard. Um, right now, I kind of feel like I'm reactive instead of proactive a lot of the time. And, I don't know, I just feel like stress is accumulating. Which is, it, which is weird to say because it's only been, what? like seven days since I started waking up at 5 a.m. But regardless, I feel like I need to start taking more control of the morning time. Anyway, we still haven't finished our own program, so we're gonna do that now for like a quick five minutes before heading to the gym. We're just gonna do it session by session. So we had push yesterday, and now we're gonna do pull today. I don't even know so. what I'm I just keep getting run on sentences. I guess I get enough of my penmanship. Fuck it, I lost interest. Never cared and really don't feel like finishing. Got way too many things that I'm dealing with. I don't know what it is right now. Caught up in my feelings, now I'm proud. Even though I don't know how it came about, I don't understand these strange forces coming out. Finish the gym I'm session. Now, like, Smashed it. On the way back now, Isaiah has to run to work. He has to leave in about 15 minutes. So he's going to run home, have a shower, and get the hell out of there. I've got another bet. I've got about another hour to kill before I have to leave. I might not have said it, but I started my personal training course, so I started that yesterday. It's gonna last for four weeks. Um, I'm in there every day from 10 to half four. And yeah, I'm kind of looking forward to it because um, I really do want to try and get like a job in a gym. And most gyms require that you have at least like an iTech, um, cert iTech, iTech certified level three certificate. So it's the first step in the grand scheme of things. I haven't really told you guys the long-term vision yet, but I will soon. Next year. Next year. <laughs> that I have to pay. I'm talking about sacrifices that I done made. I'm talking about isolating myself away just so that I can write and make music to reach the golden gates. And it's strange that some of my lyrics just sound the same. I guess I'm just lost in my ways. Okay, guys, it is about 7 p.m. now. I've spent the last 20 minutes trying to shoot this scene actually so this is gonna be my final attempt if I screw up I screw up anyways you can see that I shaved because it was a bit fluffy and I just didn't really like it I didn't really like seeing it in the last video I was like oh Scarlet for it but I am at the laptop right now and even if you guys follow Break Beyond you will have noticed that we haven't written any articles in a while and we just kind of took a break from writing articles just to reevaluate everything we were doing and like how we wanted to provide value to people, etc., etc. So, with that said, I'm writing an article right now and it's going to be on frequency of training and how often you should train. I already have like a kind of set answer in my head, so I'm actually going to look for research to kind of, I suppose, dispel the bias that I currently have. I feel like that's a kind of that's a difficult thing for a lot of people to do and I know particularly with business and this is probably like a place where I I have probably tripped up in the past and I'm sure I will trip up in the future is that like I will feel that what I think is right is right because I have a bias towards that preconceived opinion somehow when you know that may not be the case but look I don't even know what I'm talking about now but look I said if I screw up in this video, I screw up and it still goes up. Oh, I suppose what I can even talk about is when I watch vlogs, I see like the factor that appeals to me most, to me the most is the truth and the truth behind the vlogger's experience and the truth behind his storyline, etc. I know when you look at the Instagram platform, you kind of get caught up thinking that you know, you've always got to put your best self out there. You've got to take the best photo. You've got to, you know, show the best events that you've attended, etc. 
but I think a vlog is just like it's a lot more honest and I feel like there's a bigger self-acceptance role when you do start vlogging and I'm kind of noticing that myself in that even though I don't like how I speak sometimes even though I stutter sometimes even though I make like a fool of myself on the camera and even though people like stare at me when I vlog I just gotta get used to it and I've just got to really adapt to the situation and become better I guess but look I'm gonna write this article I don't even know why I went off on a tangent see but look I'm gonna put this up anyways because I do want to show you guys a very realistic journey and that means even as I overcome my own insecurities even though I wouldn't necessarily call them insecurities but I can't think of any other word so insecurities so I just want to show you guys the truth so I'm gonna write this article now I'll do this for two hours and then I'll see what happens.